So we've cut about a foot or so, but there's still about another foot that we have to cut. The recovery is coming along slowly at the home of Brenda Suarez, five weeks. After floodwaters swamped her neighborhood along Manomet Street in Lincoln Acres, along with her three-bedroom home. The waves are coming in. It just... It, it, it was just like a nightmare. In the end, she lost most of her furniture and other belongings. She did not have flood insurance. As for the dry out. The reality is there's no funds. Her family of three has depleted their savings to have some of the wet drywall opened up. Most of the flooring hasn't been touched. The family is still living in the home. So Suarez has been piecemealing it room by room in this hallway. The drywall has been cut out, whereas this bedroom is mostly rebuilt except for the floor. Suarez says the price tag for her rebuild will run about $50,000, while her personal property loss tallies about $10,000. Two weeks ago, a FEMA worker inspected the damage. On Tuesday, she got word from FEMA, approval for more than $10,000 in home repairs and more than $7,600 in rental assistance or hotel vouchers. It's hurt a lot going through all the rage and the emotions, and so just seeing anything, I'm like, okay, I have to be grateful for this. But Suarez admits the feelings are mixed. I wish it was a bit more, but at the end of the day, you know, we've been fighting for this. And honestly, I didn't trust that FEMA was even going to come in at all. Suarez says she's puzzled because it appears she did not receive any funds for her personal property loss. The money she is receiving, some $18,000, will come in a lump sum, and the deposit is pending, according to her bank. Suarez believes the funds will speed up the rebuild, which could have taken years. The hope is that it's going to get done or sooner than I thought. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.